Following up on the Reuters Reddit Silver Ape article published late last week, CNBC's Christina Partsinavellos spearheaded a few segments on the increased silver bullion buying and silver investment phenomenon over the last few years. We're going to splice together two of the segments in case you missed them. Here's the first one from CNBC's Fast Money aired yesterday, Monday, July 12th, 2021. Welcome back to Fast Money. What you're seeing there is a chart of silver because Reddit traders are shouting hi ho silver away. And one intrepid group thinks they can push that commodity to $1,000 an ounce. Uh, it's at 26 right now. Let's bring in Christina Partsinevelis with the details. Christina P., I, I don't know. How do you get from 26 to 1000 you corner the market. So this is a group of Redditors or a subgroup, and they're called the Silver Apes, Silver Stackers, or Wall Street Silver. And they have roughly 123,000 plus members, and they encourage each other to buy actual bars and coins of silver as a hedge against inflation. There's even another website that markets t-shirts that say cash is trash, silver is money that you can see on your screen right now. And they want to push up the price of silver. Yes, $1,000 is a steep uh, point, but they do want to see it climb higher especially considering the spot price is around 26 bucks, like you mentioned today. Retail traders argue that there are more paper claims, such as derivatives, let's say, on silver than actual tangible silver itself in vault. So in other words, if demand for silver increased, supply would run short and the price would surge. But the squeeze on silver, though, it does differ from the squeeze on companies like GameStop. There's a lot of silver out there and not as many silver short sellers to attack. So money managers have actually been net long positions on the metal since 2019, according to data from the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. Many in the Reddit community believe currencies are vulnerable, especially into the near future, and that physical investments are the way to go. They even helped push up the price of silver to a five-month high back in January. And according to the Silver Institute, demand for bars, like this one I happen to find from our safe, is expected to soar to 26% of total demand. That's up from 8% just last year. And one member of a group called Silver Apes told me he believes the market is manipulated by certain banks. And so that's why he's holding on to this stuff for a little bit longer. Back wow, guys. that's a flex there. She's got a bar of it. I've just got some like silver eagles and silver dollars <laughs> somewhere around the house in a shoebox. Christina P., thank you very much for uh, bringing us that silver trade. We appreciate it. Now, let's trade it, guys, her bar and all. If you take a look at this, BK, I go to you for this first. Do you mm -hmm. believe that there can be any way that silver, we saw the squeeze back in, I want to say, February of this year. The squeeze got you to maybe like the 30, 31 level. A thousand is a far leap, is it not? A thousand is, is a far leap from $26. Absolutely. If I do the math, that seems to be a very big jump. Um, that being said, listen, you know, the, the Hunt brothers tried to do it back in the seventies and, and it worked for a while. They cornered the silver market and, and then all of a sudden they, you know, the people came back and raised margins and they went bankrupt. So yeah, could you create a short squeeze in any commodity by buying it up? Absolutely. I, I like silver. I think you can get a break out here. If I'm long silver at 26 and it goes to 35 or 40, I'm still going to be happy. So I don't think you need to think the thousand dollar is your price target just to buy silver right here. All right, so at least a few options traders out there seem sympathetic to the silver apes cause because they're betting big that silver could be about to surge nearly 20 percent to BK's point. So let's bring in Mike Coe. He joins us with the options action on this. Have you seen anything? Is there any activity out there that indicates, Mike, this could be a trade that gets you above that $30 level? Well, we did see above average call volume on the September COMEX Silver Futures. That's the most active futures contract, the front month for silver. We saw well over 4,000 of those trade overall. And the most active contracts where we saw calls outpacing puts by about 17 to 1 were the September 31 calls. We saw a little over 1,300 of those trading for about a dime. Buyers of those calls are obviously betting that silver could rise 18 percent or more by August 26. That, by the way, is when these options expire. And it's important to remember, 1,300 contracts may not sound like a lot in the context of some of the ETFs we see. But the important thing is that the futures themselves represent 5,000 ounces. So that's a multiplier 50 times as large as what you're seeing on equities. So, in fact, those 1,300 call contracts actually notionally represent more than the top three most active call contracts on SLV, which is the ETF that tracks it. And that traded about 70,000 near-dated call contracts today. So 
we are seeing some bullish activity, and we're certainly seeing more on the option side on the bullish side than the bearish one. All right, some options sizzler for sure. Hello there, on behalf of SDBullion.com, this is James Anderson with a quick SD Bullion market update. Before we go further, please smash the like button so other sound money stackers can also see this content. And be sure to subscribe to our SD Bullion channel so you can get our latest market coverages and also a chance at winning incredible bullion giveaways like this one. Raise your hand if you like free stuff. We were going to give away a free tube of the brand new 2021 Silver Eagle coins. Then we said, nah, make it 25 tubes. SD Boolean is giving away a monster box of 2021 Silver Eagles. How many coins are in a monster box? Let's just say one lucky participant is going to be showing off their best celebratory dance moves with 500 shiny new silver bird friends. So head over to sdboolean.com backslash sweepstakes for your chance to win. Click the link below to enter your chance at winning this 2021 SD Bullion Type 2 American Silver Eagle Coin Monster Box giveaway of 500 Silver Eagle Coins. Official sweepstakes rules can be found at www.sdbullion.com forward slash sweepstakes. Good luck to all of you who enter and for your chance to win. Now let's move on to the second segment CNBC ran on rampant silver bullion buying. This was aired yesterday. Have a look. Reddit traders now have their sights set on silver. The social media movement is gaining momentum, and they want to send the price sky high. Christina Parts and Evelis is here with more. Christina. They go by the name of Silver Ape, Silver Stackers, and Wall Street Silver. The 123,000-plus members encourage each other to buy bars and coins as a hedge against inflation. They want to push up the price of silver to, you know, 1000 bucks. The spot price right now is just hovering around $26 today. But retail traders argue there are way more paper claims, such as derivatives, for example, on silver than actual hardcore tangible silver. In other words, if demand for silver increased, supply would run short and the price would surge. But the squeeze on silver does differ from the squeeze on companies like GameStop and AMC. There's a lot of silver out there and not as many silver short sellers to attack. Money managers have had net long positions on the metal since 2019, according to data from the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. If you think of the history of silver, humanity has been mining this stuff since we discovered picks and shovels, right? I mean, it's, you know, there's plenty of silver above ground. A little like gold, it doesn't get thrown away. And that's why many around the world do believe currencies are very vulnerable and that physical investments are the way to go. They even helped push up the price of silver to a five-month high just this past January, which is why we call that a short squeeze as well. And according to the Silver Institute, the demand for bars like this and this is a silver bar right now, are expected to soar to 26% of total demand, up from 8% last year. One member of a group of silver apes told me that he believes the market is manipulated by uh, bullion banks and that's why he's holding on to this stuff for a Can lot I longer. See I, know, I knew you wanted to, to see, see it. This. I thought it was an come iPhone over here. first. Yeah, no, come no, on, Sam, sit right on up. Come, this, to, the, come to, the, <laughs> to the parents' table. Yeah, yeah. Here, come on up. And this is worth about $300. <laughs> this is $300. That's yeah, heavy. It's 10 ounces. That is really, How that's, heavy? A, that's a lot of bullion. Yeah, it. it's, it's quite heavy. I should have looked up the weight so that I could have uh, made an, maybe a book yeah. for anybody watching. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, this is. Looks like a little credit card. Right? Except worth, yeah. Worth Very a lot cool. more. Well, especially, <laughs> depending on the credit especially card. Especially because so many people are it. storing uh, silver, gold in their houses, or more specifically, if you're getting a lot, in vaults all across the world. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's gaining in popularity. All right. Short this. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Christina. Of course, there are many in the silver investment community who took umbrage with Adrian Ash's asinine comment that silver doesn't get thrown away. Keith Newmeyer tweeted, with all due respect, seems Adrian Ash doesn't know the silver market very well. 90% of all silver mine in history has gone into waste dumps. When is the last time you recycled a refrigerator, toaster, stove, TV, etc.? Likely never. Buy physical. Estimates are that human beings have mined over 50 billion ounces of silver to date, the roughly 5,000 plus years that we've been doing so. And yes, much of that has been thrown out and not recycled while also a large portion sits in trace industrial uses like within the computer, cell phone, or television you are watching this video on. What matters most for investors is that silver bullion in 3.9 fine pure investment grade form, there's only about 4 billion ounces of it above ground, held between world commodity exchanges, reported ETF holdings, and private investor hoards. So that's 120 billion in present value, 
in a world of increasing fiat currency debasement and some 300 trillion in asset values. Silver is poised for an exponential move this decade. Today we got an even higher consumer price inflation data rating reported. Consumer price inflation is now reported at 5.4% and we all know that that has been hedonically adjusted since 1980 over the last four decades or so. True inflation's probably been running around double digits for a few decades compounding. This 5.4% inflation rate puts the United States currently right between South Africa and Mexico. U.S. bondholders are losing tremendous real value to inflation, and it appears the financial authorities' playbook is similar to how we wiped out the then record high World War II debt levels seen here. The red line here is reported inflation, the blue line is the real interest rate for bondholders. Note that the last major secular bullion bull market of the 1970s also was a decade of low real negative interest rates, while commodities ramped in fiat denominated prices. Here are some recent price rampings driving up current 40 year high inflationary numbers. This is the price escalation in commodities since July 12th, 2020, one year ago. So perhaps near $30 an ounce silver should be seen for what it will likely again prove to be, a superior long-term hedge against price inflation to come. A shout out to Christina and to the talking heads of CNBC for the coverage on silver's growing investment demand. Until next time, take great care of yourselves and those you love. If you enjoyed this content, be sure to give our video a thumbs up. To keep getting bullion-related news and industry insights, be sure to subscribe to our channel, finally hit that alert button so you know when we publish fresh content. Give us your thoughts in the comments below. Let us know what you think and which topics you want to hear more about.